So we could actually get ourselves deputized here. Uh, and that's the place we need to travel to find the meet up with Milena Axlor. There's a civilian ship, but yeah, I tried to actually. Oh no, proper not on ship parts. Ship parts are pretty, pretty okay. So let's pick up stuff that's floating around here. Wasn't wasn't much of the ambush. I I tried to uh, take those take those down down <laughs> with with ease, but. Or rather, gently. I, I aim, aimed for the engines, but apparently my guns are a bit too strong to take uh, those uh, ships alive. But the boarding is fun, actually, in this game. But it's more like if if it were a bigger ship, I should probably. Uh, board it rather than Thanks small ones You're welcome to board. because you can can kind of get like couple thousand Thanks for the assist. You're welcome to board. okay now I can talk let's go and say hello the fleet doesn't get the juices flowing you're doing it wrong ah, it's supposed to be safe around here but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me a giant bastard uh, system unless you're a native in which case oh my god I love what you've done with the place <laughs> Marco Jensen sent me ha! I knew it I knew it the man should have told me her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing uh -huh, business okay. there. I'd set up Stick Up As Us Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. Well, 
Two paths, I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tam Starrett. They might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that wooden bag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, ah, I expect okay. credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. What kind of action? Ah, <sighs> music to my ears, friend. Marco doesn't deserve you, but Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Okay, so let's let's check check the ship. Shall we? Okay, so this is pretty basic. Can I take this? Yes, please. If we just had ourselves some good snow drifts. So, all right. Yeah, this this looks something from the AC or yeah, more like the Star Wars star. Hello there. So good to see you. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. That's a lot. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. Uh -huh. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. <laughs> I want to get Milena Axelrod permission to business. Milena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Yes, I Why can you want exactly to let her imagine. Here? What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. Okay. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But, legally, if you pay off a bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. 5,000 credits. I'd like to think that, but... Okay, that's, that's a lot of persuasion. <clears throat> well, if you say so. Well, maybe I'm just being paranoid. I'd like to think oh, so. No, no, it succeeded. This really nice. is against my better judgment. But fine. She can come back. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay, that that was funny. If you're sick or hurt, my mom's the doctor. She can fix anything, even ash the bites. A good business person shouldn't let their personal attachments become an obstacle to success. If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. So th that is about beer. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, 
good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company, and now all he wants to do is brew beer. I don't Cooper see anything problem systems with that. To provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Uh -huh. Seems those two are content to think small. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? Well, there is. What do I need to do? Do I need to kill it? <laughs> With further R and D okay. on Intelweet, the entire settled system could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. Exactly. Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, his margins are tight enough he might be forced to throw in the towel. My husband put his foot down and hasn't risked our core business on this. If Henry loses money here, it'll only be from his pet project. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. Then just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that, and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. Okay. And some code doesn't mind. Okay, that's that's nice. Sarah was a bit, bit, uh, well, annoying the fact that she was always nagging about me breaking some laws. Akila prison. Alright, you can, you, can, you can get to the prison if you are bad. Right, barracks. Okay, let's all just take a breath here. We all want to protect people from the Ashta. We're on the same side here. Mm -mm, the hell with that. This ain't the way things are done. And that's the end of it. With due respect, I have repeatedly explained that I do not need permission. I, I came to you in the spirit of cooperation, but if this is the reaction... Twenty years we've done this my way. And it has always worked. Always! Why are you trying to fix something that ain't broken? Mr. Wilson. We can deal with the Ashta better, safer. We didn't turn down fire or a, a space flight because we'd managed just fine until that point. I will not be talked down to like this. Okay. Miss Alpin, please don't take any further action until we've had some time to think this over. All right? Interesting. Then, then again, these new things might be uh, a bit hazardous. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be in Friend, I gotta confess, I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know, I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but, well, I can't seem to help it. I assure you, it is not. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years, again, for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so okay. well. Okay. This ain't help. This is thinking you know better than the people that have done it for years. Decades even. It's just arrogance. Look. This is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. 
Okay, interesting. We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? Correction. Mr. Wilson has a disagreement with me. I can't tell if he's just being willfully ignorant or has just entirely misunderstood my proposals. I'm not sure what you've heard or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashta to come pouring in. So what are Nor you am actually I in proposing? Any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. I feel like I just got broadsided by the fine print. <laughs> Do you know what the hell she just said? No. Fantastic. Total sense. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact. Just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Yes. Asta, Would you asta, be willing babe. to play some sensors for me? That is great news. Sure. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. Along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability. There's just so much to do in New Atlantis. That looks funny. Overall, I really like it here. I think the Free Star Collective suits me. Mama and Dad! What? Overall, I really like it here. I think the Free Star Collective suits How me. How did you get here? I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. How did you get here? I can't believe we bumped into yeah, you. Yeah, me too. And here, of all places. I hope you didn't buy a ticket. <laughs> oh, hush. I Th did This it. place <laughs> is really... interesting. You see, honey? I swear both of you are blind. <laughs> the nonprofit I volunteer for had a symposium in Aquila City. They sent me and a couple of others. And I get to be your plus one. Your mom's not one to toot her own horn, but okay. she's getting to be a big deal. Get, get a she keeps it up and she'll be running the whole operation in a few may years. Make a trip. Oh, Weekend so trip to the other planet. Well, I was <laughs> just getting bored puttering around the house. So I figured I'd try to do some good. Oh, thank you. So, what are you doing in Aquila City, sweetie? Well... Is it Constellation business? Yeah. Honey, he does more than just work for Constellation. Well, then why are you here? You must be so well-traveled now. Kind of. Well, it was nice bumping into you. I know you must be busy. Love you. It's pretty funny that you can meet your parents in another planet. They're just like... Oh, that, that's a toilet. Okay. The place in the... Mad cat cat gets our place, so what's the now? The sensors are pretty durable. I mean, don't go using them as target practice and they're good to go. You've got some good news, I hope? Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. Okay. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. Uh huh. I don't have the processing so, power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. <laughs> okay, so I oh, need to hack the security I really computer. Am bad at communicating Most of sometimes. these quests are I have that part, part well of ahead. some illegal business. The uh, guard standing outside there, he's not gonna let me in. I need you to distract him. My old man always said I'd be on the wrong side of Aquila security. I guess okay, he didn't right. like that. I should only need a few moments, so I, 
I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or, if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Okay, Sam didn't like that. So where's the guard? Optional. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. What brings you to the wall? Boredom? Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. I want to have a romantic date here. We have 3,000 credits. Let's try to purchase. Just to take this on what? Faith? <laughs> Look, everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. Well, if you say so. <laughs> I okay. Yes, I believe you. Just don't do anything I'll regret, okay? Sure. No, no, nothing. So careful. Ecologies are living things. They move, they change. The way we handle Ashta works for now. So we have to be prepared. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. And yet, you have aided in the advancement of science. For science. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. If the Ashta haven't eaten the whole, the whole place. Stone routine. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go. We'll go. Just need to find a time. A year yeah. or two back, I shared a drink They're with Ron Hope. barely a part of the Freestar now Collective. Now I can drink. Hope Town's not that different from Aquila. Hard workers, and everyone making their own way. But... Neon? We'll talk about it later. Mother always said that the secret to happiness is to learn to love where you are. She was a wise woman. Hello. Hey, hold up. I feel for the folk in the stretch. I try and give a credit or two to the low house when I'm able. So, Henry's new batch. How to go over? I know you like Henry. But... What? There's something wrong? Sam said it tasted off. Really off. Gladys said it was fine. Then she dumped her whole glass on the floor when she thought I wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. No. Fine. I don't think we should carry Henry's stuff anymore. Our regulars have stopped ordering his old stuff, too. Uh, I'll break the news to him. You should try Philburn's beer. It's brewed in the city and it ain't bad. <laughs> Akil is really the heart. Uh, are, are you really? <laughs> that sure. Would someone really tamper with the data intentionally? I just don't see any other explanation. So what's the problem? Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors. Look at that and seismic I, sensor. I, I need help. Okay. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. Oh, thank you. 
It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. Okay. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But? But this? I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. So, somebody have been, has been tampering with the computer systems. Is there a type of weapon combat tech won't make? People around here think we own Akila. They're wrong. The Asta do. Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Okay. Her help <laughs> is likely what put us in this mess. I think I'll pass. Ah, he's now, just I need to get jumping back to the conclusion. Get some eyes on this situation. Since you're so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? <laughs> yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. Today, man, 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Yep, not an overkill. Go to the east gate. Well, at, at least he's going going there. Bethesda, in Bethesda games, the people actually walked from the A to B place and not just teleport. Holy shit! All right, you ready to head out there? Okay then, just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it, and maybe we'll get some answers. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet, you know that, right? Yes, I do. Gonna, gonna put everything on me. This is what I'm talking about. These tracks. They're all wrong. The space in the depth just doesn't make any sense. Uh, Let's okay. keep going. So 
So apparently the near near areas near the city have been like uh, pre-made. Yes, the clip. Please tell me that was target practice. Yes. Any other pass, I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashton? Why in the world? Shit, you hear that? Eyes up, we got incoming. We got something in the I didn't have a time to scan those. Okay, the bot is here. Where's the, where's the guy? Davis Wilson. Stay close. Stay safe. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Well, I had a 40 millimeter grenade questions. launcher. Who in the hell did this and why? How, how do I know that Keon is not responsible? I can miss his help in doing No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. But while I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Yeah, it could be the girl. People have no idea what we do to keep... Oh, okay. Now I've seen everything. Something to report? Buffet. Yeah. Oh, hey there. Back already. Uh, Davis said something about you going on patrol with him. He's <clears throat> he's all right, isn't he? Nothing uh bad happened out there. No. Why? Why you do you ask? 
We are both fine, no thanks to you. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> I thought I deleted the logs. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Uh -huh. Really? Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. <laughs> it won't matter. I really screwed this up. I don't know. Davis is a stand-up guy. And however dumb your actions were, the reasons weren't. But you might want to update your resume just in case. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That robot could have killed people. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? You serious? Oh, Bailey, what were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's gone crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much, but not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. And now she, he thinks that. Oh, that was good, good amount of credits, by the way. Okay, so the grav drive is actually making the um, artificial gravity into ship. Might be a side kind of, kind of side pro project. So let's let's check the missions. So we could actually do more stuff in the free star, but we have some, some survey missions. And the eye, oh, this is the plot plot mission. I haven't got a huge hurry to play through the, to this main plot. So we are probably going to play around a bit. And I don't think I have uh, anything. That's probably what we would be taking next and go to, go to check the vacation planets. Everything good? We're here to help. Welcome back. Here to finally take your shot at joining the Vanguard? Yeah, sure. Well, alright. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard orientation hall. Supra Air Ultra. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Orientation Hall. Registration. Enlistment Agreement. Current bounty hero. Agree. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall, or continue on to the examination. The end of the earth. In 2150, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse. Ah, okay, that, that's century, what happened. Eliminating all life on the planet. Well, that's bad. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, 
beginning a new era of human history. The age of the United Colonies. What a load of UC propaganda. <laughs> Still, can't imagine living through all that. With the world literally falling apart all around you. You here to enlist? Don't worry, none of this junk is on the exam. <laughs> The United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new section, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. Okay, so Host Varun is third faction. Finally, the UC deigns to acknowledge the Free Star Collective. That was really big of them. House Varun. They have a like alien space suits. Freestar Collective. Brown coats. Yeah, this this looks like totally like a Serenity. Yeah. The Firefall Fly TV series. Nerion War. There's, so there have been lots of wars. 2240, House Varun forces declared all-out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their Serpent God. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remains, however, select members of House Varun who refused to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification the goal of all space. I wonder if the DLC will be dealing with the house baru. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nerion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Mix. Even bioengineered wow. alien creatures, the infamous UC Xeno weapons. Oh, interesting. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. This history is really starting to piss me off. All of it spun so much it's basically lies. Any day you make it through, yep. Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the Free Star planet of Nera. In 
initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position. Repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks. A nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. Oh, really? I wonder if th that's a place we could we could actually visit. Okay. This th thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. All four of my last science papers have been that's on an terror. Okay. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators. The Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city seemingly out of nowhere on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Seems like uh, something out of Starship Troopers. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport. Sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. Station wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Vey Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. Well, they got this right at least. The armistice was a necessary move to make sure the next war doesn't wipe us out for good. spacesuit. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. That, that, that's a bit like uh, from the from the Star Citizen. They had, they had similar 
similar kind of iconography. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one well, this is to pretty earn much Starship Troopers. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. Ah, uh, okay. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property. Ah. Getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. Piloting simulator. So this is how the UC trains their pilots. Interesting. Much what's wrong? Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Of course. You'll be running through a high realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. Ah, oh, okay. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. So this is where the grind begins. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. Good hunting. Uh, I died. Simulations control terminal. 